and we're live that's it we're live so we're going to start sharing into uh, the different pages for the evening and we're going to start sharing into the different groups and we're just going to give those a couple of press there's nobody on yet we're just going to give those a little tag and we're going to share into talk and walk tours and we're going to share into maybe true convention that wasn't working i don't know if anybody can shave into true convention good evening guys we've just got a little bit of a, a a thing for you tonight it's not going to be a massive one but it is going to be a funny one so please just hold while i share this into a number of different groups uh this evening because we're in our sitting room it is the sitting rooms of culture. I'm going to share it into sitting rooms of culture. Good evening all. If you can please start sharing down in the bottom and I'll give you a wave. We're just going to have a very, very quick lesson on the Wars of the Roses. Hence why I've got my red roses. Hence why I've got my white roses. Red for Lancashire, white for Yorkshire. But it's Sunday. We've been stuck in the house. We've been stuck in the house all week. I've got some great news for you. I have been practising music. I've picked up my recorder again. I can't believe it. I've actually gone out and picked up my recorder and I've been practicing all week and I've got something for you that I think you're gonna love. Um, so if you bear with me just one second, I'm gonna just enjoy it. But please share down in the bottom left hand corner. Um, and are you ready? I, I, did, I don't know if any of you know that I used to play the recorder. Um, and this is my recorder here. So I'm just going to play a tune for you. It's actually a flute. Uh, but you, you wait and have a listen to this and you see what you think of this. All right. So are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Give us a countdown. One, two, three. Are you ready? Hey, what do you reckon to that? Back of the net, Bobby Dazzler, isn't it? Bobby Dazzler. It's an old medieval tune. Thank you very much for the thumbs up. If you are enjoying it, guys, give us a thumbs up. Give us an interaction. Wasn't going to go live tonight, but got a couple of interesting Wars of the Roses facts. So just going to share them with you. 29th of March, all right? 29th of March. Good evening, Des Quinn. God bless you, my child. Um, 29th of March, 1340. Edward III raises taxes to invade France for the Hundred Years' War. <laughs> Bored already, Paul. Yeah, forget Edward invading France for the Hundred Years' War. Ian Jones, good to see you, sir. Welcome to the Wars of the Roses class tonight. 29th of March, 1461, on this day, the Battle of Towton. Now, we are talking about a proper battle here, all right? It was a proper, proper kickoff. Finally... 29th of March, 1471, Edward has lost the plot with Richard Neville. Richard Neville, the Earl of Warwick, is hiding in Coventry, inside the city walls, at Gosford Gate. Good evening, cousin Andrew Callan from down there. We're talking about the Wars of the Roses tonight. Um, so let's dive straight in with no further ado. Good evening, Jeffers. Happy birthday, Cathy Bedford. God bless you, my child. So, Battle of Towton. 29th of March, 1461, the bloodiest battle and the most gruesome in the Wars of the Roses between the Yorkies and the Lancastrians. OK, Yorkshire guys absolutely bossed it. Nick Hubbard, good to see you. NHS. There we go. Um, Yorkshire guys absolutely battered them. Battered, battered the Lancastrians on this day. Kicked seven bells of... <laughs> Be Jesus out of them. Um, loads of little YouTube clips and what have you on the Battle of Town. But this was the day that the Yorkshires, and I hate to say, I, I hate to say Leeds, you know. Don't talk to me about sophistication. I've been to Leeds. Uh, but the Yorkshire folks battered it in this evening. Next that we have is a Coventry thing. Good evening, Nick Hubbard. Good to see you, sir. Hope you're well. While we sing together, play up Sky Blues in Robins We Trust. That's what I'm talking about. Give him a little ding -a ling There we go. Anyway, 29th of March, 1471. I'll give you a wave. Please share down in the bottom corner. 29th of March, 1471. Edward arrives in Coventry. 
MOT, match of the day. Get in there, son. Back of the net. <laughs> there was a lot of battering. There was, Mark. Anyway, what happens is Edward comes down, right, and he's been staying at Coombe Abbey, right? And it wasn't a hotel then, Coombe Abbey, as you understand. Uh, but he was staying at Coombe Abbey. He's come down to Gosford Green. He's made his way over Ball Hill, made his way past the Coventry Music Museum, and he's come down to Ball Hill. And at Ball Hill, he stopped at Gosford Green. And obviously, there's a lot of City fans down there at Gosford Green, isn't that? You know, we know the, where the City fans are. Good evening, Gavin Lloyd. Anyway, lots of City fans down there. Uh, well, they weren't at the time, but there's lots down there. And Edward, right, has got the hump. He's got the absolute right hump. He's got the hump, and he's got the hump with Richard Neville, right? And what he does is he, he spreads his army out over Gosford Green, all right? where the Coventry City fans used to play fisticuffs. And he stands before the city walls and he shouts out his defiance at Richard Neville, OK? He shouts out his defiance to him, hiding inside Coventry City Wall. Hold on a second, all right? So, there we go, all right? Shouts out his defiance at him. And he says, we'll just cover that up there. He says, come out and fight me, Richard Neville, the uh, <laughs> Warwick. You dastardly, dastardly, hey, come out here and give us a good old fight. Anyway, Richard, <laughs> Richard Neville, he's, um, he's not to be trifled with. He's not to be trifled with. Um, gives this answer. Good evening, Colin Keane. He says, uh, for three days, the heralds would come down and knock on the door. At Gosford Gate, the bottom of Gosford Gate, by the Empire. They'd knock on the door. Good evening, Phil Rooney. Evening, Pete Johnson. God bless you, my child. God bless you, Stephen Ram. He knocked on the door. He said, come on out and fight. Anyway, what Richard Neville replies, and he replies is this. He says that he had rather be like himself than a false and perjured duke. And that he was fully determined never to leave war till he had either lost his own life or utterly subdued his enemies. Now, Edward actually got the hump. He got bored, right? And being a big scaredy cat, where's me wig? Hang on a second. Uh, yeah, I just had a quick change there. Edward, right, he's gone to London. He's had enough. He's gone down to London. All right. Um, and it was David McGrory in uh, the History of Coventry that taught me this fact. But Edward, Edward had enough and he went away. But Richard Neville was hiding inside Coventry's walls. He was hiding inside Coventry's gates. Um, so we've got the Battle of Towton on this day. And we've got Edward coming down from the Coombe Abbey Hotel, having a fight on Gosford Green, and then coming down and demanding to be let in via Gosford Gate, which is where the um, where the Empire uh, Music Emporium is, Mr Philip Rooney's uh, Emporium. So that, that's that. Good evening, John Shepherd. Good to see you. We're just finishing off a talk of the roses. We've done a short one tonight, so you can actually watch it afterwards. But um, it is the War of the Roses Day, and we have to say, you know, war... What is it? What is it good for? What is it good for? Hey, absolutely nothing. That's what it's good for. Absolutely nothing. If you are following uh, Deep Fat Fryer, can you follow him on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube? He hasn't got a website. He's a medieval monk. He's not going to have a website, is he? Um, if you can follow him on that. And then what we'll just do is to finish off, we're just going to uh, finish off. I'm going to play the song for you again. What do you mean it's a wig? Of course it's a wig. Yeah. Um, we're just going to play the song for you again that we played at the start in case you missed it. Claire England. Hello, darling. Good to see you. Wait and see what I've been doing whilst I've been locked up in my thing. And I'm going to do it on my flute, my wooden flute. So here we go for you. Here we go. Ready? go so that is this evening's uh, little video i wasn't even going to do one so i haven't announced it did it really late tomorrow uh, the, the monk has gone tomorrow we have this fella 
coming in and he's going to be doing the teachings from tomorrow. We are, of course, celebrating the Feast of St. Osberg tomorrow. So we'll be celebrating the Feast of St. Osberg tomorrow, which is, as you know, that great church in Coventry. Uh, the, the, the black gear will go and uh, there might be another fella doing presentations this week from our sitting room of culture, from the city of culture. Uh, I give you the match of the day theme tune. We made it medieval a long time before they did. Thank you very much, Cagsy. You know who you are. Um, God bless you all. God bless Coventry City. God bless Mark Robbins. And God bless Coventry. And God bless you, Ellie. Thank you. Who? Who? <laughs> Who? Stay safe. Stay, oh, yeah, stay safe. Yeah. And, and, and God bless... Uh, God bless the missus for this cup of tea. All right. Love yous all. Love yous all. Oh, one last thing. Sitting Rooms of Culture. Brand new Facebook page. Sitting Rooms of Culture. Um, we're going to be sharing, if you're not following Sitting Rooms of Culture, if you can go on and follow Sitting Rooms of Culture, because we've got some great cultural stuff coming up for you. And uh, enjoy it. But that's our lesson from the Wars of the Roses. There we go. And uh, we'll see you all soon. We are going to bring you some other characters um, during, the, uh, during the filming of this. We are going to introduce you to some new characters soon. We've been working on them for a long while. We've got uh, the Elephant Hunter and uh, a new, another new character, Welder Wasdis, who's an Irish chap. And uh, he always starts everything with, where there was this? Well, there was this time, well, there was this fella. And uh, the elephants, if you haven't had a chance, please go on and check Sitting Rooms of Culture. Uh, there's a Leanne Bridgewater poem uh, working with Alan Van Widgigan, uh on Sitting Rooms of Culture. It's phenomenal. Go on and have a look at it. God bless you all. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Take care now. God bless. Bye.